Welcome to our lab, display filters, keywords. We're going to understand how to uh, check a filter with the existence of a keyword in upper and lower case and avoid some common mistakes. You need your uh, PC or virtual machine with a network connection. We'll go to Wireshark and start a capture. Before we do, I can just see here that we've got a Telnet feature, which is actually disabled usually. On Windows 7, you've got to go to the control panel, turn Windows features on or off, and Windows 10. There's a few ways to get to it, but I'll just get to settings. I'll just type Telnet, turn Windows features on or off. Go down. All right, it looks like Telnet client's turned on. I can't remember if I did this for another lab or um, it was already on. I've got a feeling I enabled it for a CompTIA Network Plus lab. So I just wanted to show you that because Telnet won't work if you um, if you try otherwise and it's disabled. So we've got our Ethernet connection up. There's obviously traffic passing on it. So I'll, st I'll start that and then go back to the lab. We'll open up a terminal through the command line and go to telnettelehack.com Okay, so you'll see a screen the um, same as this or very similar. The first command we're going to type is date. And it's printing the uh, date here. Next command. Foon. Now, because of my screen size, um, you can't see it all. Basically, it's a, a picture of the uh, moon with the ASCII characters. First quarter, uh, and this data here on the right. All right, stop the capture and save the file. And then we'll uh, do some checking through filters. So the first step is we're going to do um, fill in the display filter toolbar with the filter Telnet. Because as you can see, we've got a whole bunch of uh, different traffic here. All right, so this is displaying just, just our Telnet traffic. So add as a display filter, the following syntax, and telnet.data contains CEST. Now just a note, when I uh, did this lab, I got AEST. This could be detecting where I am uh, connecting from. So you obviously have to adapt what um, the lab generically says to what you see in your display. So I'm going to change CEST to AEST. Otherwise, I've got a feeling the um, I won't get the same results. Okay, so the bar's gone green saying it's it's a uh, legal character string. And if we go down to this packet here, you can see the string says AEST caught here. 
and also shows in the character bit sessions. Obviously, if we don't know a priori, if the string we're searching is upper or lowercase, we use a filter. So say, for example, you did CEST lowercase, you won't have any uh, packet filtered because they're different hex characters. So if I change this AEST, you'll see I've got um, no results in the uh, bars here. Now you can solve the problem by converting the string field to lowercase or uppercase before making the filter. So the new filter result as lower talnet.data contains CEST uh, or in my case AEST in lowercase. And we can see we've got our result back here. In case you need to get the packets containing the phase of the moon, we can apply the filter upper talnet data contains full moon or the alternative here. OK, repeat the previous task, get more practice on keywords and try to use lower and uppercase expressions. Also try combination and more complex filters.